Hello and welcome to InDesign CC 2015. I'll be showing you how to create this two-sided postcard step-by-step step, while introducing you to various tools and features. Before we get started on our project, I'd like to give you a quick tour around the InDesign interface. There are four major areas to focus our attention on. The first and most important area is our document, which occupies the majority of the screen. To the left, we find the toolbar, which allows us to choose from a great variety of tools for adding and manipulating content in our document. Many tools are hidden and can be accessed by clicking and holding on another tool. Next, at the top of the screen, we have our control bar, where we get loads of options for changing the attributes of a selected object. Also note that the options on the control bar change automatically for you, depending on what type of object you've selected. For example, you get text options when a text box is selected, and graphic options when an image is selected. Lastly, we have our panels on the right-hand side to monitor and modify our work. If your interface looks different, it's because it's completely customizable. Everything can be dragged and dropped to rearrange, and even turned on and off from the window menu at the top of the screen. A quick way to get back to the default interface as it appears on my screen is to click this button on the toolbar and choose from a list of preset workspaces. I'm using Essentials, and if you are too, you can reset everything back to normal here. You may also notice that my rulers are showing pikas as the default unit of measurement. Let's change the default unit of measurement to inches in the InDesign preferences. To do this, click InDesign in the top left corner of your screen, hover over Preferences, and click Units and Increments. Here we can change the horizontal and vertical ruler increments to inches, then click OK. Now we're ready to begin our project together. I'll close my document here real quick, and now we can create a new blank document together. In this dialog box, we're going to make some choices to set ourselves up for success. Let's start by making sure that the intent of the document is set to print. Then type in two for our number of pages, so that we'll have both a front and a back. And turn off facing pages, since this isn't a book. Next, we can set the size of our document by changing the width to six inches, and the height to four inches. And next, let's set our margins to a half an inch all around. That's gonna be 0.5. Next, we'll expand the bleed and slug options with this disclosure triangle, and set our bleeds to 0 0.125 inches, which is an eighth of an inch. This will give us a margin to allow our artwork to print up to and beyond the edge of the printed page, and avoid having white space around the edges. You'll notice that when I type a value into one of these four boxes, the others update to match. That's because of this link icon here, which can be clicked to unlink if you'd like to enter separate values for each different side. We'll keep it linked and even all around. It looks like we're all set, so let's click OK and have a look. Looks like we're ready to get started with our design. Let's save our document by choosing File, Save As, and assigning it a name and a destination. I'll call mine Postcard and put it on the desktop for now. Now we're ready to move on to the next video and start designing. 